So I've got an interesting one for you. Um, I've just sold my first ever drum kit, I suppose. It was a student kit. Uh, no longer have it. I've completely dedicated myself to my Wii Mini setup, which I have for gigging purposes. So I'm gigging three, four times a week, maybe more, depending on the week. And my whole goal here is to have a kit where it's, it's transportable, it's easy to move and easy to repair if things go wrong. So that being said, the kind of core of my kit at the minute has been this. It's a minor Cajon snare, Cajon snare, whatever you say. The problem is, I'm quite a hard hitter, and this thing is starting to, I don't know if you can see that there, uh, it's starting to fall apart just a wee bit. Um, <laughs> starting to crack, starting to do all these wee things. So the problem with this cracking, and the snares are out of place as well, is it's not really repairable. I can't get in there to fix the snares. Um, this top is lifting off, yes, but it shouldn't be. <laughs> um, other than that, it does, it does the job quite well. It sounds good, I've even got a wee sticker on there for reasons. But really going forward, I don't think this is the best solution. And I'm starting to look now at bringing back to snare drums. Mainly because you can replace the head and there's that's kind of cheaper to fix each and every time. Whereas this costs in and around 100 pounds. I'll put a link in the description if you're looking at this type of thing. Other options there, like a wee snare tap, it's like a wee square um, beast, which is great. The thing I'm looking at now is called the Pearl Short Fuse. So I'm just gonna unbox it here and we'll go through that together, this unreal experience. <laughs> You can kind of tell where I've got it from. Like paper. Oh, a box. Look at a box. Haha! -ha. Don't need you. Right. This box is looking quite big already. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. What I've kind of done here, I've gone for the 10 inch snare. I was about. Uh, 4.5 inches in depth, which I thought was quite good because I try to carry everything in one bag and the more I add on I'm conscious of weight and space and things like that <laughs> This is tiny. The snare itself And some attachments which is great. And of course a wee drum key. So you've got like an L bracket here um, covered in plastic, hit plastic. This is like an arm, kind of attached it to the hi-hat or your cymbal stand, which is exactly what I need. Hopefully that does the job, it's made of chrome. Chrome, I like chrome. And a drum key, the snare. So far the size does seem small enough, which is great. Um, transportable stuff is fine. A wee badge around the side, as you can see. Um, okay. So really, this is kind of like a six ply shell. No fancy material here, it's just popular, poplar, wood, whatever we say. <laughs> um, it's grand. This, uh, this is kind of one of the key aspects of why I bought this as well. Um, so basically, this allows it to attach to that attachment, which I had. Um, I don't really know how this sounds yet. Uh, I think it's just a single ply coated head you've got stock, but obviously that type of thing I can upgrade later. I kind of go for the Remo Emperor coated myself, two ply at least. Um, it also has six uh, tuning pegs, which is grand. Also, when I'm tuning, I try to keep it tabletop tension, which might be a problem for this head, but uh, just thinking of that. Now, the real test is my bag. I might just be about to send all this back if I can't get this in here. Because um, if I can't... So this was the real test. The snare is sitting sitting in this bag. Why don't I have a snare bag? Um, this is because I've got this and then a big kind of gear bag with everything in it. And if I can put this on my back, all the better. This plus the cymbals, we 8 inch hats. Um, another wee small parts I can fit in here, which is great for transportability. Again, my whole setup is about being transportable portable and light. I can tell you this is definitely lighter, <laughs> um, this is definitely heavier, not being too much of a hassle. I have been upgrading some of my equipment recently and weight is starting to become an issue but again it's thinking of long term and the heads are replaceable. I'm hoping to get a bit of use out of these because I'm trying to not hit as hard so I'm hoping this might do the job. I'm going to try and fit it onto the drum kit now, we'll have a wee look at that. So I'm not going to do any tuning, I'm just going to try and get it on there, see what the crack is. Uh, half the bracket it came with, I also have this spare, uh, just in case that might work better, but I'm hoping this setup will do. So, 
it's fine it up fine. Um, obviously, I'm gonna play around with this and try and see what the setup might be. But so far, everything works fine. Um, it's looking good. So that's it stock out of the box. Um, I will probably play around with the tuning a wee bit, not in this video anyway. But everything's kind of set up right now, so I'll show you there. As you can see, so this is the kind of mountain bracket. It's all set up, short fuse snare and the hi-hat. What I'm also sitting on right now is a rear cajon, um, just for the bass drum and the seat really. I like this one because it's nice and tall. Uh, it's about 500 millimeters, which also gives me a good range of motion in my legs. This is kind of where it's going to be sitting, which is good. And I also don't need to take any more stands. So this is the kind of setup I'm working with. Again, really transportable. No need for big drums. Um, I am getting close to trying to keep the sound world what you would expect with a kit. Uh, the bongos are in the background there, so they're kind of like my toms as well. So this is kind of just kind of filling out that snare sound. And the main reason, of course, the heads can be replaced rather than the, the body shattering, hopefully. <laughs> um, don't know how long this will last for. The reviews all seem good though. Um, kind of, I don't know. It's right in that range which I like. So I might lower it, play with the tuning again. The head actually seems nice so far for a stock head which is good. Um, quality seems fine as well which is a good sign. So I'm hoping that kind of fits in. <laughs> I am kind of going through the pearl phase where I've got a pearl hi-hat stand and now a snare. Uh, the rest is all kind of minor LP and of course the rear cajon. But I'm hoping this will be the setup going forward. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I'm going to play around a wee bit, see what I come up with. <laughs> might tune it, might not. So far so good. If you do like this type of content, please let me know. Um, I'm trying to just build a wee kit that's ultimately portable, sounds good and does the job. Maybe hopefully I'll upgrade to a bigger kit in the future when there's a need for it.